Welcome to the Militia Gaming Community, I'm Trigger, and this is the Ultimate Beginner's Guide to the Crew 2 in 2021. Let's go! Alright guys, real quick before I get into the video, if you're seeing this after September of 2021, you can ignore this part, but if you're seeing it now, my editor, Stephen Militia, just lost his father about a week ago, and the family has set up a GoFundMe to help pay for some of the costs for the funeral. It is insanely important and dear to my heart if you guys could go and donate. If you have something to donate, even just a dollar would help. They have a goal of $8,000, and they're about 30% of the way through as of this video. So there's a link in the description. Please click that and donate if you can. If you can't, I totally understand. Maybe you can just share the link with friends and family. I really appreciate it. Let's get into the video. All right, this might be a long video. This is an ultimate beginner's guide to the crew too. So I'm gonna have timestamps for every single thing that I'm gonna talk about in this video. So make sure you go to the description and click on the timestamp of the thing that you're specifically looking for. If not, enjoy the video. It will be a long one. Now let's get into it. All right, starting with the leveling system for the crew too. So this is how you would level up in the crew too. You need to get followers and you get followers for doing any type of activity or event, a skill, a race, simply just drifting around, driving at high speeds, you will get followers. Now, some activities reward more followers than others, but your goal is to get as many followers as possible so that you can level up through the ranks and start earning parts. When you begin the game, you're gonna be in this category, the rookie. You'll then move into popular, famous, star, and icon now icon is where you're trying to get you want to get to icon as soon as you possibly can because you start to unlock the ability to do certain things and once you get past icon then you get a number next to your name so if you can see on the top right of the screen you see icon 1290 that is my current level that means i've leveled up past icon 1290 times and if you can look on the top left, you see that I need 26,048 followers to level up to 1291. The levels will keep going until you reach icon 9999. That's 9,999 icon levels. Now this is crazy hard and it will take a lot of grinding to get to that level. I have 19 days played in this game and I'm at 1290, but also I'm not focusing on followers, I'm just playing the game. So I bet if you focused on followers, you could get there a little faster than I am. Needless to say, it's a lot of grinding. So if you're starting the crew two now, maybe that's not the end goal for you. You definitely wanna get to Icon as soon as you can. So start leveling up, start racing, and that's when you can earn followers and start leveling up. Every time you reach a new Icon level, you get rewarded with what are called Icon points. So you can check your icon points if you pause the game, then go to pilot, then go to icon points. You can then put your icon points into one of these categories and then sometimes early in the game, you may level up once and get a point for each of these boards. Now, this board over here for comfort just shows you some added bonuses like pure. This is a very important one. This increases your nitro power. So this goes across all vehicles. It's account wide. Everything on this screen is going to be account wide. So you look at this pure, every single point that you put into pure, you get a 4% bonus on your nitro power. So this is super important as you level up you want to make sure you're applying your points. If you don't apply your points, it will look like this. You'll have a number at the top of the page and you'll have to apply those points. I have 430 for this particular page and I had most of them in the rich category. This actually gives you more money for each race that you do. But I also had all of these ones maxed out. So I'm going to go ahead and max these back out. This is very important for your racing and your skills and it gives you bonuses for each little category of the game. The vehicle page is just that. This one just gives you bonuses that apply directly to the vehicle, and the gameplay obviously gives you bonuses that affect your gameplay. 
So, for example, Hothead and Slippery are drift mechanic gameplay bonuses. Slippery increases your multiplier by one for each point that you put in there, and Hothead will increase the speed multiplier by 0.4% in drift events. The faster you're going in the drift event, the more of a high score that you can achieve. Hobbies are another thing that you can use as goals. If you look at your hobbies section, you can just press start or pause and then go to hobbies. Each of these sections will give you different goals to earn. These are just little mini goals that will reward you stars that will work up to the big goal, which is on the left side. So in this case, the Mazda RX-7 Turbo 10th Anniversary Edition, this is the main goal. But along the way, you'll earn an epic outfit, rare underglow, common emotes, uh, rare emotes, and epic emotes, but the big goal is the car. So if you earn enough stars in this category, you will get the car. So these are all different types of goals that you should try to work towards. Some of them take longer than others, but the more you play the game, these unlock naturally. You can focus on these if you want, but it's not really that necessary. These, these tend to just unlock as you play the game. All right, now let's take a look at your activities. So if you press the pause button and you tab over to activities at the top, you can see there's a bunch of different squares here that will give you different activities. Each of these is a category of activities. The first one on the left is season three, episode one of the Motorflix events. So if you select this, you're only gonna get Motorflix events. These events will be random and you can tell what type of event it is by the little symbol that's next to where it says U280 on the left. It says SR, that's gonna be a street race. This next one over is TC, which is going to be a touring car. The next one over, Rally Cross. So you can get the idea. That little yellow, blue, and orange square will tell you what type of event this is and what type of car you're gonna be using to do it. It also gives you the world record time, the number of followers that you gain by doing it, and the number of bucks that you'll gain by doing it. You can also see the leaderboard by just going down to leaderboard, and you can travel straight to, you can fast travel straight to this event by clicking travel to, it sends you to the event, the beginning of the event, and then you can launch it from there. So for example, if you go into the street race category, you're gonna be given a bunch of options here. This category or family, as they call it in the crew two, actually has four different categories of racing, street race, drift, drag race, and hypercar. Those are all considered street race family. The first one is the boss of this family, and you will be racing him once you unlock the boss fight. So you can go into street race, drift, drag race, or hypercar, and you can race in that category so long as you have a car that's capable of doing so. On the right side of this, you have skills and photo album. There are certain street race photos that you can take along the way. I obviously have not focused on this at all. The skills are just that. They're like little micro mini events that you can do around the map. You don't have to use this menu to get to them. You can just drive up to them when you're driving randomly in the world. They will be all over the place. You can see different speed traps and escapes. And just for an example, let's travel to this one so you can see exactly what it looks like. So this would be the speed trap right here. It's right in front of us, it's got that yellow triangle, and we're trying to hit a certain speed before we go through it. That's it, that's the whole event. So you can tell there are many events like that, and that's what the skills are. But if you go back to the activity panel, you can see that there's street racing, off-road, freestyle, and pro racing. Each of these has four disciplines. So there's four different families of events, and within those families, there's four different disciplines. So Rally Raid, Motocross, Rally Cross, and Hovercraft. That's what's in the off-road category. Freestyle will have Aerobatics, Demolition Derby, Jet Sprint, and Monster Truck. And each of these also has their own specific skills and their own specific boss fight. Pro Racing would be Power Boat, Touring Car, Air Race, and Alpha GP. Again, each one has skills and each one has a boss fight. This is the easiest way to start a race or an event is through this activity menu. At the bottom here, you've got access to all of the Motorflix episodes and seasons, each one here. And then next up on this is the Live Summit. We're gonna go over that in just a moment. Directly to the right of Live Summit, you've got Live Extreme Series. These are three different type of discipline events. So this first event will include a street race, a powerboat, and a rally raid vehicle. 
and it's one event that you have to do with three different cars. And then finally on the far right side is the live battle. That is your PvP, which is something that I'm going to go over in just a moment. But before we do that, let's go over the map. You can access the map by pressing the select button or the windows button and it'll zoom out like this. You can actually press the left trigger and zoom out even farther. And if you do it again, you zoom out even farther. This map is one of the best maps I've ever seen with the ability to sort and zoom in and out of the entire map. So you can zoom all the way out and you'll notice that the map is the United States. Now you can see there's lots of events on this map. You unlock all of the events by leveling up with your followers. So I've got all the events unlocked. I haven't completed all of them. That's why you see some of these with these like, you know, blinking stripes that go over them. You can actually use the filters on this to get to the events that you want to go to. So on Xbox, it's X to filter on PlayStation to be square. And you can just get to all of the events just like this. So you can sort it by status what you've already done or what you need to do. And for me, I have 44 events that I haven't done yet. And difficulty, normal, hard, ace, the type of race, the vehicle, which type of family you're looking for. If you just want to sort by all of the street races, you can just do street races. And you can also sort by the discipline. There are 16 different disciplines here. And each one has a different number of races. As you can tell, street race has the most, but you can just sort by this. It'll bring up all the races that you're looking for. Now one of the neat features about this map is you can set waypoints anywhere you would like. It could be in the middle of nowhere. You can set the waypoint and it'll give you on your map the navigation to get there. So if you back out of your map, you should have a waypoint on your mini map and how to get there. So see on the bottom right, we've got a little bit of a direction. You also got some arrows that go above your car as well tell you how to get to where you want to go. Driving to the events will take a lot of time and this game's already grindy enough so I wouldn't drive to the events if it was me. I, I'm trying to get things done and I don't have a lot of time to do it so I usually will press start, go over to activity, select the race that I'm looking for and the difficulty and then travel to it. Like I said, this will put you directly outside of the race. Now, if you enter the race with the wrong vehicle type, it will automatically switch it for you, but you can also press start and then select the vehicle that you want to use. All right, also on the map are located four different headquarters. Each of those represents the different families of racing. So on the bottom left in Los Angeles, is the street racing hq you can click it and then enter it just by the map or you can travel to it it'll put you right outside of it or you can set a waypoint and actually drive to it most of the time i just enter it through this menu because well that's faster just north of las vegas is the freestyle headquarters down here in the middle of the map is the off-road headquarters and then of course the pro racing over here in new york that's the pro racing headquarters. Each headquarters has the same options, but each one will feature four different disciplines. And this is actually where you will buy your cars. So this is where you'll go if you wanna buy new street cars, new hyper cars, new drift cars. And you can tell each one of them, these four cars are your disciplines. You have street race, drift, drag race, and hyper car. And this is where you would buy them. So let's go into the street race cars real quick so you can see. Here are all the available street cars. It tells you on the top right how much each car is worth. You can sort this if you press X or square if you're on PlayStation. And you can sort it by what you own and what you don't own. Again, all these different types of filters in order to find the car that you're looking for. The brand that you're looking for. You can scroll down to my favorite, which is Volkswagen and get yourself a nice Golf GTI. If you don't own the car yet, you can actually test drive it by selecting it and then backing out of this menu. It'll put the car visually in the parking spot and then you can press X to test drive it. All right, moving on to the Far and Beyond shop. This is the place where you would buy your visual cosmetics. You can also buy more of the currency. This is where you'd end up spending real money. 
the CCs is the real currency. That's the crew credits. So you have to pay real money for that. And those, these are things that you can only buy using crew credits. Some of them, like cars, will be available with bucks. That's the in-game currency that you earn. So like this Lamborghini Attic is available for 827,000 bucks or 118,000 crew credits. The crew has made a promise to all of the players that cars are earnable. You do not have to buy cars, but cosmetics will be something that you would pay real money for. Over here is the summit board. This is where you would compete every single week. There's a new summit. This week is Motor City. This next week is Lightfall. And then these two summits will be revealed after we get through Lightfall. There's going to be a big update here in just a couple of weeks. If you hover over the summit, it tells you what the rewards will be for that summit. In this case, you get 150,000 followers for ranking bronze. You get the Chevrolet Camaro SS Drag Edition uh, body kit for ranking silver. If you rank gold, you'll get the Chevy Camaro RS. And if you get platinum, which is the highest rank in the summit, you will get a boosted fame magnet set of hypercar parts. You get a full set of hypercar fully upgraded gold parts. We'll talk about those parts in just a bit. Let's go into the summit so you can see what you're going to be doing. When you click the summit, you've got your rank on the left, and then each one of these squares is an event with the score that you got on that event. You can race these events as many times as you would like to to try to improve your scores. Currently, I'm ranked 122nd, which means I'm in the platinum category, and I'll get all four rewards. When you rank in platinum, you get all four of those rewards. If you rank in gold, you get gold, silver, and bronze. When you rank in silver, you get silver and bronze. And when you only rank in bronze, you just get the followers. Now, for you guys, if you're leveling up, it's very important that you start participating in the summits as soon as you possibly can because 100,000 followers is a lot of followers and it'll help you level up really, really quickly. So start doing this the second you get to the star level. I believe that's when it unlocks and that'll get you to icon very, very fast. Even just one event will get you the bronze fame pack and every single week, usually you get followers for that bronze reward. This is something that's super important for you guys because you are in the beginning of the game and you wanna level up. So as soon as you get to star level, start doing these summits. Even if you can't do all of the events, at least do one that'll give you a rank and then you'll get that bronze reward. Next to the summit board is your mailbox. So your mailbox is where all of your loot will collect that you didn't get in the field. So when you do a race, loot will drop from the sky. If you don't pick up all of that loot, the stuff you miss will be saved and it'll arrive in your mailbox. You can only get to the mailbox if you're in one of the headquarters. Once you're in here, you can just grab these items. All right, and the last thing that you can do when you're at the headquarters is you can launch the PVP, which is upstairs right here at this tent. This is the live battle pvp section it is super important for you to do pvp every single week if you look at the bottom right of your screen you see weekly reward you have to play five pvp events to earn your weekly reward if you do those five events you get three pieces of fully leveled up gear or loot you get fully leveled up let me just say that one more time you get three pieces of fully leveled up loot. This will help you level each of your disciplines super fast every single week. There's only seven parts that go on a car and you can get three of them in one week by making sure you do your PVP. So definitely go in here and do PVP every single week. It doesn't matter if you win, lose or draw. You just have to complete five events every single week and you get free gold loot. All right, and speaking of loot, let's go through how the loot works. So press the pause button, go to vehicles, and then you can go to performance. Performance will show you the loot that is currently on your car. You can select a piece and swap it out for something else that's in your inventory. You can also delete items that you don't want in your inventory by scrapping them. Scrapping them will give you spare parts. You can see that little orange currency that's on the top right of the screen. 700,000 spare parts. You need those in order to mix around the different bonuses that you will get for each part. Now I know this is going to get kind of tricky and you'll get into this as you start playing the game more, but let's talk about the bonuses. So if you go into here, you select a part 
and then you press the select button or the Windows button on Xbox, which takes you to your AFIX. So these are the AFIX stats that are your bonuses. I've got skilled and sensor on this particular part. And if I don't want this sensor, I can press A and hold it and it'll recalibrate this part, which gives me a different option for a stat bonus. So you've got sensor at a 9.4% bonus. My original one was 8.8, .8, or I can choose bulldozer at 3.3. If I just want to stick with my original, I can keep that, or I can select the one that's even better, which is 9.4. And if I don't want sensor at all, I can hold it to recalibrate it again, and it'll give me something else, which is pure. So pure was my next option, 3% bonus. I like that more because it gives me an increase to my nitro power. Let's select that one. Now this part of the game is super grindy and it is where you're gonna spend a lot of your time trying to max out your stats for each part that you have. The set bonus on the right, you cannot change. So this is the part that you pay attention to when you get gold parts. You wanna make sure that you have a full set of whatever that set bonus is. In this case, it's Scorebreaker. Scorebreaker is a very, very popular set bonus because it multiplies your points when you're doing skills by two. This gives you double points on your skills. This is important. Skilled also compounds that by increasing the amount of points you gain by 6.6%. And if you can get a different one by recalibrating, you might get even more. So this one's 7.7. .7. I've just improved the amount of points I get on a skill without even having to do that skill. If you have Scorebreaker, you have to have every single part that's equipped to your car all have Scorebreaker in order for that bonus to be active. And it says right there on the right side when it is active. But if you change one of these parts and then you go back to this bonus, it'll say inactive because I've only got six out of the seven parts equipped. Now this first performance screen where it shows all your parts that are equipped, you can press the pro settings button. You see it at the bottom there. And this will allow you to tune your car. Now these settings are super important and they are different for every single car and they unlock as you level up. So if you're just starting the game, these will not be available to you, but as you level up, these settings will become available. There are lots of different guides on pro settings on YouTube, but these settings are super, super personal. Everybody likes the car to handle a little bit different and everybody will have a little bit of a faster time depending on what the pro settings are. These are something you need to spend time to learn and I will not be going over in detail on this particular guide. This is a very important menu to get familiar with. If you'd like to customize your car, you can go to customize and there are lots of options for customization, color, livery, and visual parts. And of course the vanity items that you earn or buy. And the last thing I want to go over is the motor pass. The motor pass is like a battle pass, but for cars. Now on the left, you'll have daily challenges. You can unlock tiers by paying real money, or you can go down to the bottom and just look at the different tiers and what you're gonna unlock by doing this. Now, some of these are free, they'll say free tier. You have to level up to that tier in order to earn that free reward. But the other ones you're gonna actually have to pay for. The motor pass is only $10, and in my opinion, it's worth it. You do get awesome rewards like this 911 Carrera RSR. You also get full sets of parts that would be worth it, especially when you're trying to level up. Different underglows, you get different currencies, including free crew credit. So here's the thing, if you can't afford the motor pass, all you have to do is play through the current motor pass and you get free crew credits, which is the paid currency. This one's 2,000, this one's 2,000, that's 4,000, this one's 5,000, that's already 9,000 crew credits. This one is another 2,000. All of a sudden, you now have enough to pay for the motor pass. The motor pass is only, I think it's 9,000 crew credits to buy it or 10,000 crew credits to buy it. But all you have to do is play through this current motor pass and you'll get enough crew credits to buy the next motor pass. So this stuff is completely free and you can get everything for free. But it does take playing the game and making sure you complete your challenge. And the challenges on the top left are what you wanna select. This shows you your dailies, but if you click it, you can actually see what your weekly challenges are and those reward even more. So weekly challenges will reward 20 motor stars and help you level up faster in that motor pass. 
This is 100% worth it to me. I think if you play through one motor pass, then you can easily pay for the other one as long as you don't spend your crew credits on anything visual. All right, that's it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching this video. I know it was a long one. If there's anything that I missed, and I'm sure there is, all you have to do is send me a DM on Instagram, Twitter, or Discord. And speaking of Discord, we have a Discord full of people. We're up to 6,000 members in our Discord now. If you wanna join that, there's a link in the description down below. But you can send me a DM anytime. I will answer it. It may take me a little bit to get back to you, so you have to be patient, but please, don't hesitate to ask there's i'm sure there's something i missed in this video anyway all right guys i'll catch you on the next one shout out to all the militia subs trigger out